Welcome back to the show, everybody. Yo, the usual suspects in the building. More importantly, you are in the building. And again, for the two time, welcome back to the show. SNK Howard's Tag Team Frenzy is now on Steam. And well, if the King of Fighters 14 wasn't already on Steam, then SM, SFM makers, will, you know what? They will be jumping for joy. You have female Terry Bogard, you got a female Skull Mania, you got John the Ark, and you got Miss X and Shermie. So, I expect great things from you all. I do. Uncle Triple does. I expect things. I expect when I hit the spots. No, actually, 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 hold up, hold, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. We we need a second. We need a second. Right now, for the one time in the name of the hentai bay guy and the horse base guy. I just want to pray for the dead carcass of what Tumblr used to be with that bomb ass whoop, that bomb ass shit. Now it's just that bullshit. Continue horse base guy to cripple him and continue hentai base guy to rape him. Amen. Okay, so we good. We, 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 did, we just had to take a second and pray over Tumblr's dead soul. Because Tumblr is not what Tumblr is because that's when you have to find the stuff. Now you got to hit up people's Patreon pages and you got to hit up different chains and shit. It, it, it's crazy. It's like you have to be centralized in one motherfucking place. And then you just made it hard because we can't do that no more. Bunch of bitches. Anywho. Anywho. Regardless of Tumblr's dead fucking carcass and SFM videos, which are going to get made any fucking better, is SNK Heroines is on Steam now. So... There's a trailer out for it, and you know, of course, Super Duper Motherfucking Magic Bar, she's gonna be through to show us what's good. But I wanna take a second after we get done with that, just to let you know what the rest of the video is going to be, is that we're actually gonna take a look at the Steam page. Because there's something you need to know about how it is you should be looking at purchasing this game if you've previously purchased it already on the PS4 or Nintendo Switch already. So I figured that information and getting it out there is important, so we'll go through right there. But speaking of my boo, super duper motherfucking magic boss, where you at, girl? Right there. So look, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna watch this Steam trailer, and then we're gonna go over to Google motherfucking Chrome Live in the field, and we're gonna take a look at the Steam page because there's just some shit you need to know. So with all of that being said, <coughs> now activating SNK Howen's tag team friend beyond Steam. Dot e x e. <laughs> I still need to play the story mode. I really like this presentation. I'm like, did nobody ever figure out like how to how to get like infinite money real quick so you can unlock all the stuff? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, here, here the thing is, I'm like, I enjoyed the time that I've had with it. I still need to buy John, and we gonna still do a live stream on that. You know, so I really, I really think that. For what this game was and is as an experiment, it works. I'm like, I don't really think that the future of KOF is going to be this simplified scheme or whatever. Totally not. But I really appreciate that this game was allowed to and is allowing itself to have fun. You have got to love that. Um, Super Duper Motherfucking Magic Box Gear, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. So, but like I said during the trailer, because, you know, I wasn't really paying that much attention, and I should have. And then, like I said, like, when I got on when I got on stream, me and the missus and we played, we had a good time because it was the game that, she, even though, even though, and I will admit this, she got a little frustrated at it because cause I, was, I was bopping her. I was bopping her. Like, I would let her win, you know what I'm saying, just because, you know what I'm saying, because I was trying to help her get used to the game. But I really think that someone who isn't used to fighting games should be able to pick this up really quick because it has a simple control scheme. It has a simple to the point gameplay system and all the fan service is just the cherry on top of that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I really appreciate that. It's like, if you want the simplified control scheme, but yes, cheesecake, we talked about that game a couple of days ago with its version 1.14 update and fighting ES layer progressive more. I really think that simplified inputs I don't really think they get any better than what Fighting EX Layer is putting down, especially when it comes to special moves and things like that, and having those and having those square buttons, and like having something that's easy for people to grab onto, and and, and, and even people who use the arcade stick play that mode because it's easier to get around, to get with grapplers and things like that. And I really think that progressive mode is something that is really great, and that more fighting games that, if done the right way, should adopt. You know what I'm saying? So it's like 
you got Persona 4 Arena to really thank for that turn that we have of easing people into the fighting game. So just give it up to them. When is when is Ultimax 2.0, somebody for real? Like I'm sick of having to play the bootleg. Like, but if y'all mind me playing the bootleg, because I'm gonna be playing the bootleg of Power Instinct forever while they release five versions of Catherine Full Body. You know what I'm saying? We not even finna get into that either. We we not because see we'll be here all motherfucking day and I don't want that because we got a lot. We got a newscast. We've got a TV channel to run. Damn it! Look, Google motherfucking Chrome where you at, girl? Google motherfucking Chrome, bitches. We live in here. SNK heroines, tag a team friend Zai. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just wanted to just take a look at the you know take a look at the page real quick. Let's. I want to take a look at some screenshots. Let's take a look at screenshots. You want to take a look at screenshots? Look at this one. Ooh, look at that. It's Metal Slug. See, that was one of the things I really appreciated about about Terry Super Moves. Is that I, 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 I sat a third with just doing all Super Moves in the stream, and I just wanted to sit up here and see all the different all the different marquees and all the different games that they reference. I'm like, I thought that was kind of dope. See, there, there's coolest boobs, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you believe the King of Fighters 2002 Unlimited Match, Cooler Diamond also comes equipped with a fat ass. Core values, motherfucker. Moving right along, see? Do, 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 do. I think that's how I go. But yeah, you know, you got cows and you got vampire priests. You got Angel, who should probably be in this game. And Princess Athena, who also has a Athena costume. More on that later. Um... Player one wins. I haven't seen any tournament footage for this game in quite a while. But is Leona still like the is still like the most insane character in this game? Because like I was running Thief Arthur and she was fucking dumb. And I loved how dumb she was. I appreciated how dumb Thief Arthur was. But I remember when this game came out, Leona was giving the streets the blues. And I haven't seen any tournament footage from like my normal my normal folks in quite a while. So I do wonder like what the current state of the game's meta is. I should research into that. You know what I'm saying? Like Shining Crystal Bit, a classic. Always a classic. Especially when you do the rare version that shows you, you know, underwear and more underwear. But Maximum impact. Um, look at this character selection. Look at all these people on the character selection. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look, you got this girl and that one and a cow, a pirate cop. Um, I should say something about this, but I ain't trying to put my fam on blast. Where I'm bombing them, but love my nigga. Um, that's that's Yuri. You know. Yeah, I'm into that kink too. Mm -hmm, yep, into that too. Yep, super totally like. I don't play Zarina much in King of Fighters 14, but I found myself gravitating to her in this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had her on a team for, with Terry for a minute, but I ain't played the game since then, so who knows what it is. And there's Shy Mian, and there's another girl. You, you all know who that girl is. We talked about her. Here's my legitimate question. I don't know, like, how done the game is, but I do wonder why did they... Well, well actually, you know what? I can answer my own question because this was something I thought of a couple of days ago while I was just randomly playing the King of Fighters 14, which I need to actually stream because it's been quite a while and I have not touched any other new DLC characters. But I play Alice. I, I play Alice. I play Alice Garner Nakata. I play that character. I sat up here and wondered, like, why they would choose Gender Ben Terry over Alice, and then I realized that. Alice got a lot of moves, but it's one thing about Alice because of the history of the character. It's another thing about a gender bent female Terry Bogart and what you can do with that. Just a lot of things, and it's like, and it's like when I think about it now, just like in this context, I appreciate what female Terry Bogart brings to the proceedings. So you know, so at the end of the day, you know, what I'm saying you didn't win nothing, you didn't lose anything, but. It'll be interesting to see is that if they fill out this roster some more, because I have no idea. Because we know we got Sam, we got Sam showing the cut. King of Fighters 15 is currently being worked on, so I don't know like how much they can really devote to doing something like this. Because when I and again, and I'm and I'm saying this is that I, I we, I'm like 
The whole time I was covering this game up to its release, I, I told you the characters I wanted to see. I want to see Kisar Westfield and Carol Stanzak. I want those characters because those are legacy SNK characters who deserve to be in this game. I'm like, I really think that this game did a wonderful service by doing nothing else but getting John in this game. That that, that was our out there pick. So that makes me sit up here and really think that my... My fan service KOF roster is going to come true because we're going to feature either an ADK team or a World Heroes team, which should probably only have Fuma or Hanzo, but not both. Fuma or Hanzo, but not both. Or, you know, because you can't really get into reuse the house switching like you can to Marvel's Capcom 1 and KOF. But, you know what? That would, that would be a hard choice. Because you would probably, like, if you really had to ask me for real, I would take Hanzo over Fuma because Fuma has Fuma been doing the crossover thing with the ADK because he's a character that is a part of combat. You should watch that stream, by the way. So, is that I would probably go Hanzo, John, and maybe Ryoko. But that just kind of, the Ryoko, the Ryoko pick kind of depends on, like, what the rest of that, what the rest of that dream roster of KOF would be. Because would that be that KOF dream roster that has my Metal Slug team of Fio, Marco, and Hiyaku Taro? That's the question. It's like, I, I wonder about those types of things, and more than one should, but when you love the, when you love this company and the franchise they create as much as I do, you have those kind of questions sometimes. So, but it'll be interesting to really see, like, what the future is like as far as, like, getting more massive. Like, I would love to see that, remember that rumor Neo Geo Battle Coliseum 2? I would love to see that. That would be mad extra dope, but we'll see. Oh, that's Shermie. That's probably that's probably one of the best characters in the game. I don't know, like if they didn't mad nerfed her, but Steve Austin's a monster. She can sit up her and do anything off anything. But I need to play Million Arthur Arcane of Blood, you know what I'm saying? Dice and die, baby. <sighs> Miss X, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And you got Johnny, you got Skull Mania, which Skull old lady, I should say. You know what I'm saying? I I think that was, I think this was a great crossover idea. Cause I really think that's the because you would think you go Blair Dame or, you know, you go Paloom, and you could, but I really think that Skullomania for it was the best choice for Arca to send over into this weird, into um, a kooky, weird, crazy land of fan service, and we appreciate that. Thank you very much. You know what I'm saying? I, I really I really enjoy and appreciate the game customized feature because of all the things you can do. But again, like I said during the trailer, have anybody found out the quickest way to get money? Because I think right now the quickest way to get money is to play online matches, I think. But it's got to be something a little bit easier than that. But, you know, it is what it is with that. Queen Shammy. Look at that side boob. You know you love it. Get serious. I'm like, I'm like, I really also appreciate the little photo mode. I really, I really think that was a dope inclusion to really give the game some rounds. You know what I'm saying? To get that game like some extended life. Because if nothing else, you ain't playing the game. But yo, I like to dress up stuff and share the screenshots with my people. I've seen a couple, so you know what I'm saying. It's really great to really see that that the game can be interacted with that way. I think that's kind of dope for real. And here's Geese Howard flying off a tower. Um, something about cherries in it, but it is what it is. Regardless of all. This is what I wanted to get to. Because as of right now, let me get my notes together, is 15% off of the game, so you can get the game for 43 bucks right now, or you can get the deluxe pack, which comes with um which comes with all of because because this is what I also want to show you. Is that the characters or the or DLC characters are not being sold piecemeal. You either buy all the DLC characters or none. And it normally costs 20 bucks to get the characters. So, at the end of the day, it's the same thing. It's the same thing for buying all four characters. So, it's not like they giving you a deal. But you're getting a deal now during this 15% off. So, it kind of really all depends on, do you want to play as Steve Arthur? Do you want to play as Miss X? Do you want to play as John? Do you want to play as Skull Lady? It kind of depends on you. But I really think I really think that that's kind of cool. It's, I, I think it is a little weird. And I do mean it's a little weird that the characters are not be are not able to be offered piecemeal, at least in this instance. But I guess that just keeps down on the dumb and confusion, I guess, of the product itself. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is with that. Oh, oh boy, I hit back too many times. You shouldn't see my search history. 
But yeah, this is SNK Heroes, y'all. I'm like, yo, it's on Steam now. So if if you couldn't if you couldn't pick it up on a Switch, if you couldn't get a physical copy for the PS4, if unless you bought a hundred twenty dollar version of a video game or things of that nature, right here, not not bad right now for because I'm looking because I can't like sixty bucks. Let me see. Yeah, that's sixty bucks. Yeah, so sixty bucks for the game itself. And a DLC, that's not bad. Like, that's not bad because the game fifty, the game fifty. So to get the to get the whole complete the whole complete game for sixty, that's the lick. I got. I'm like, so if like if you ain't if this game ain't on your radar right now, when this game start dropping, it's when this game start dropping. Wow, that's kind of crazy to think about. <laughs> that is kind of crazy to think about. But yo, um, bring it back to me. All right, so I hope I've helped educate and inspire you to make you the good purchase today. Um, it's some other thing. It's one other thing out there because I don't think I might not get a chance to talk about this. There is a fanatical bundle out there, like a beat 'em up bundle for three bucks that has River City Ransom, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat, oh, Mortal Kombat Nine Complete Edition. It has. Everything Skullgirls and Brawl Out for three bucks. Three dollars. Three dollars. One, two, three. Three dollars. I might I might just make a separate video on that because like River City, River City, Ransom Underground worth three bucks. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I might just do a little mini special. You know what? If I if I get some note to self, you got time to do a mini special little announcement about that thing. Alright, we can do that. Alright, so Put that up in my head. But look, we've got more show for you, man. So sit back, relax, and stay tuned, man. You know, you know who I am. You know who rolling with me. You know where we at, and you know what we do. And we will be doing more of that for you, and then some. Right after these commercial messages. <laughs> yes, indeedy, baby. Yeah, we got more show for you, man. So sit back, relax, and stay tuned for real. Go play SNK Harold with us. I might be doing that later. And some other stuff too, but we got more shows to talk about that. So, more show after these commercial messages.